Andrew Hoyle for CNET and I'm here at Mobile World Congress taking a look at the Samsung Galaxy X Cover 2. Now uh, the X Cover 2 it's a 4 inch Samsung Galaxy phone but unlike some of these other models it's designed to be a bit more rugged so you can see it's, uh, it's got a bit of a fatter shape, it's got these, uh, these handy little grip marks down the side and it's waterproof to a depth of three feet. Now it's not going to be enough for you to take it diving or go swimming but it will at least keep it safe from uh, rain or dropping it in a lovely muddy puddle. You can see on the front it's got these big chunky buttons to make it easier to hit perhaps if you're wearing, uh, if you're wearing gloves. Um, and the, uh, the textured back should make it a bit easier to keep hold of. Uh, you can see a 5 megapixel camera with an LED flash on the back as well. On the front is the 4 inch screen and that has a resolution of 800 by 480 pixels which is, uh, is far from the uh, 1080p levels we're seeing on a lot of new smartphones but it, you know, it, it looks uh, reasonably sharp. Also seems quite bright and bold so it uh, should be good enough for a bit of web browsing and a bit of YouTube if you get bored. It's running on a 1 GHz dual-core processor, which uh, isn't up to the standards of some of the quad-core chips Samsung are bringing out in its other phones, but it should keep the essentials ticking along nicely. It's running on Android 4.1.2 Jelly Bean, and if you've used any of Samsung mobiles before, then the interface will be immediately familiar, so, uh, so no surprises there. There's uh, been no word on pricing yet, but we're expecting it to land sometime in quarter two, so I expect to hear a bit more on how much it'll cost nearer the time. I'm Andrew Hoyle for CNET, and this is the Samsung Galaxy X Cover 2.